Tales of the Bizarre. Episode 2, The Harmonious Tribe of Excellence. All right. Welcome back to our depraved tale of 16-year-old Chazowitz Taylor, a young boy whose surf vacation took him to the furthest regions of the globe, only to be cast into the sea by a mammoth wave of epic proportions. And now we find Chaz, 20 hours after being hurled into the dark waters, clinging to his board to stay afloat. Oh, man. I'm, like, totally lost at sea. I mean, it's powerfully difficult to get over what a profound bummer this is. I can't stay out here another night. It's getting dark. I'm so hungry. Meanwhile, back at the site of Chaz's disappearance, Steve feverishly attempts to attain help. Someone, someone help, my friend. He was, he was surfing and he got totally swept down in the ocean, like wiped clean away. Uh, uh, you, you help my best friend. I don't speak English. Uh, 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 you in the towel. Uh, I'll help your best friend. You are a scary person. Oh, God damn it. What is it, son? I'm a pirate. Maybe I can help. Okay, my friend, he was surfing on death shore, and they got totally swept out in the ocean. Well, that's a terrible story, that kid. Oh, well, can you can you help me? Ha ha ha, no. I'm not really a pilot, I'm a voice actor. Wait, what? Look, kid, I'm on top secret business. Oh. Not a human soul can hear about the contents of my flight system. It's heavy. So I can take you where you need to go, but oh, okay. you can't ask any questions or touch anything. All right, let's go. Shit. Back in the middle of the sea, Chaz can't catch a break. Floating on his board, a cold chill runs down his spine upon realizing nightfall is here. Before, so I kind of figured you owe me here. You and your chair and righteousness and your beard of excellence. Just please don't let the waves pick up tonight. But there was no God, and the waves did pick up. Indeed, so and so it went that the perfect storm of trigantuan waves would crash down on the poor Chatwitz, now forced to surf the oncoming multi-directional giants like a tornado of black water! He knew it. Night was day, and Chaz was out cold, lying on a mysterious shore. What the? Where am I? 
And so, Chaz embarked upon the found paradise before him. A beautiful and seemingly magical island filled with coconuts. Delicious! Fresh berries. Circular! Spring water. Oh, so refreshing! Plus, he could surf all day by the pristine shore. After an afternoon of thoroughly enjoying the fruits of the island, Jazarus explored its inner depth. Whoa. And then he heard the faint sounds of distant melody. Oh, wow. Jabs! Jazz fervently ran towards the music, then slowed down once catching a glimpse. Oh, man. That's the sickest shit! Stunned at the sound of the aboriginal tribe, Chaz could only stand back and watch in awe. Oh. Hard oh. oh, jabs, bro. And with that snapped branch, all eyes suddenly fell on the idiot boy. What up, Mulukalama, too, no one. Who, me? I'm just here to dig those heady jungle crunches. The vibe is just the tastiest shit. New one. Uno mata. Uno no mata. That's exactly right. You're a bunch of sick dudes. I actually uh like to rock out myself. Huh. Huh? And the tragedy occurs at perhaps overly long last. The imbecile child of Los Angeles is entrusted with the native's primitive stringed instrument. This one, Jazz fell in love, yet again. This time, to the second daughter of Father Umftuk. Yes, there was beauty in her savagery, one might say. And so Chaz, the narrow-minded idiot that he proves to be time after time, took it upon himself to impress the man of the island's second daughter. Let me show you little fuckers how it's done. This is how we will in California! peace song, all the while glaring at the sexless and somewhat confused female who I might add seemed far more impressed with the amount of flesh pulsating from his legs. To the Haligachi Huku Taku tribe, these scorching sounds of electric surf were blasphemous and thoroughly unpleasant to their native ears. The culture class was too much. The white man's music was uncomfortable. What's your name, baby? Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, so, um, Karpu, uh, wanna come watch me surf tomorrow? But it was too late to surf tomorrow. The natives seized Chaz. Get off me, you boneheads! And put Chaz in a cage. Oh, fuck! And locked the door. Oh, no, double fuck! And right before Chaz's sullen eyes, the leader of the tribe 
smashed his surfboard in two. the tribe sing and dance with feverish incredulity, but he had no idea what was in store for him until he saw what they were all dancing towards. What are those gnarly little bucks singing and dancing towards? It's just a stupid mountain. But it was not just a stupid mountain. It was his destiny! Wait, is that a... A volcano! A volcano indeed it was. Right for the eruption as legend goes and young Chazowitz was all set for sacrifice. Will Chaz somehow escape the evil clutches of the Haligati Hukutaku tribe? Or will his murder via volcano provide rain for the tribe's dying crops? Oh! Volcano! Stay tuned, my sadistic sons of suspicion, my delirious daughters of disaster, for the conclusion of our stranger-than-fiction account of the macabre inflicted upon the ordinary, otherworldly chaos on the comfortable! <laughs> 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 Stop laughing, Chaz, you're in serious trouble! <laughs> <laughs>